This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? This is KGM Torres EVX. It is oh, it is a relatively large EV from uh, Korea. And in this video, we're gonna walk through the interior and also test the child seat and the I don't know what you call it, the family car capability of this car. It should be good because it, it is, like I said, quite spacious. So I have uh, Isabel running around here. So yeah, uh, where should we start? Uh, front, uh, skip it, there's nothing there. Let's start in the back. Isabel, no, no, schmutz. Maybe you got schmutz there. Yeah, schmutz, you have to ABC now. Yeah. So back looks like this. It seems like we could have a spare wheel here, but no. And the door doesn't open sideways. It has a handle there, but it opens upwards. Hmm. Okay. So we have partial shelf here, retractable, and then a little mat here. And then under here, we have this foam thing where you can take out and free up more space. So here we have one light there. The rear seat, they can actually recline a little bit. And then here we have 12 volt outlet, very convenient. We have a little strap here for loading cargo. Same here. But you see that there's no subwoofer in the trunk. So that means the trunk is really nice and large. And it's just plastic fantastic, but it works. And now I'm gonna demonstrate how ginormous the trunk is. So I'll put a baby stroller here, see? Whoa, look at this! Okay, we can just have it in this very convenient, uh, not that much folded form there. And then we take the frame and well, whatever, you know, we could just toss it in there like this, roughly. Uh, which way do you want to? Well, actually, hmm, you know, I actually want it to be like this ish. Yeah, like this. That works, but you see, we have still plenty of space. So, since we have a newborn, we could also put the carry cot. This is Cybex carry cot, it works up to six months. And you can fold it more, but we prefer it. Oh, no, no, Isabel, don't, don't, don't mess with the tripod. Go play somewhere else, Isabel. So you can fold it more, but we just have it in the quick use. And, you know, we can even put that one in there. That also works fine. Hmm. How about a Cybex Koya? This is very suitable for traveling on airplane. It is quite foldable. So it is in a folded form. We could even tuck in that one on the side here, like that. Hmm. How about Cybex Siruna T? This is the one that Isabel uses now. It is bigger than this cloud set we used before. Hmm. We could just toss it in there, like, like that, for example. Hmm. How about Cybex Cloud T? Yeah, this is for Axel. So uh, maybe I just take down the handle. Uh, we could just toss it in there. Oh wait, there is even more space. How about a bag of sticky rice? Well, we could just toss it in there. Wait, how about a little toddler? We could just toss it in there. Okay, okay, you know what? Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Isabel. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How about Cybex Isabix base? In case you just want to have more children with you, you can just fold it. And then, well, it beeps, sorry, it's just a safety feature. Maybe we could just toss it in there. And then let's see, will it close? Achtung, Achtung. No problemo. And I, I, I didn't run out of space. I run out of items to put in here because there's still way more space here. Yeah, I think I made my point, didn't I? Now let's measure how big the trunk area is. The length is 98 centimeter. The width down here by the wheel is 106 centimeter. Further up, you have slightly more space. Let's say here. Yes, there's schmutz, schmutz baby. There we have 132 centimeters. That's freaking wide, man. The height with the floor thing removed is, wait, huh? 105 centimeters, that is amazing. The opening here is also quite large. 84 centimeters, loading height is approximately 72 centimeters. Very good, man, very good. 
And now with the seats folded and the passenger seat pushed all the way forward, we now have length behind the driver, 187 centimeters. Length behind the passenger, 210 centimeters. Diagonally, 230 centimeters. Wonderful space, man. And then the seat width, the back seat here is 130 centimeters. And then seating height is 33 centimeters. But you can put your feet under the front seat. So that's good. And also here you can recline. So now we are in the well, in the upright position, which is still... Okay, baby. <coughs> yeah, baby. Okay, you stay in there. Shoop. Watch out for the laser. Let me turn off the laser. Okay, what was I saying? Yeah, now we're in the upright position, which is still nice and laid back. And then if you take it down one notch there, you're even in more laid back position. This is really comfy. Oh, oh baby. Okay. Uh, uh, got that. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry, uh, I need to clean this. Uh, I don't know what the heck happened, but uh, ah, baby, 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 wait a minute, baby, baby, wait, wait. Daddy needs to shoot some stuff here. Uh, the Isovix mounting points—they are somewhat hidden here, so that's not my favorite thing to fist in here, finger in here to get them. But here I'll show you. We have a little uh, center console with cup holder there, and then here we have USB. <coughs> How do you open this? There, two USB C, little pocket here for storing your stuff we have manual air vents here and then yeah I have to show you here on that side also but on this side we have no baby no 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 Th that's just little smooth no 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 the wheel is smoothish stay away from the wheel here look oh yeah oops huh huh isn't that nice okay just lots of plastic fantastic though oh baby oh man there's so much hassle uh, it would be better if she was inside, but uh, it's not possible right now. Okay, I skipped some of the tests, but anyway, this is important because now I have the child seat there is in the back and then I adjust. Wait, huh? When am I supposed to hit the child seat? There, huh? Where that is almost in the most back, uh, forward, I mean backward position. Whoa, I have so much space here. This is incredible. What? Huh? I thought maybe there, there must be a weakness somewhere with this car. Maybe there's a limited legroom. Well, apparently not, because now I'm just gonna try to go forward until my feet are kind of like this, okay? Wow, you know, this footwell is quite deep. I like it, I like deep stuff. Okay, and then, let's see, if I then recline, how much can I re- Oh, how much can I recline? This is madness. This is madness. I have super comfortable space here and we still have a child seat in the back. <laughs> Incredible space here, man. We have a pocket behind the seat here, like a multi pocket there. So I suppose maybe the middle pocket is for putting your phone there. And then I wonder if this is some kind of tablet holder or what, what is the purpose? of it? No, 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 this can't be a tablet holder. I don't know what the heck it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, there's some rubber on the inside here. So I have no idea what, what is this, but okay. Uh-huh, handle here, handle there, and there. There's Isabelle, she's exploring stuff here. So I had to take her inside, but I took off the shoes, yeah. And then she wanted to take off the socks here. But uh, we don't have a completely flat floor. But let's see now, try the door closing sound. Wait, shit, there's something in the way there. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Uh, do we have... Wait, let me see, can I... I cannot lower the window. I want to check if we have double glaze window, but no, I think I already checked beforehand. They are just regular, but no panorama roof or anything like that. Fancy schmancy. What about headroom? Now I'm in the recline position. Holy macaroni! I'm still 173 centimeters. I have around two fists of headroom here. And even if I go in a more upright position, like this, and I just click. Now, yeah, it's still plenty of space. And then what about the middle seat? Middle seat. Still plenty. Uh, this car seems to be quite tall. That's why we have so much space. It's better. Do you like it? Chop, man. Chop. And as a daddy, I highly approve this. We have button here so we can adjust the front seat from the driver's side. So, yeah, very convenient. Here we have a relatively large instrument cluster. It seems to be actually as big as the main screen here. And then we have flat pedals here to adjust the region. 
we have regular stocks here. Lots of buttons, two buttons there, two buttons there, plus this that works as a button, plus up, down, and same on this side. And then regular buttons here on this side. Conventional air vents here, same here and here. We have center console with this, I call it the bridge design because we have a space under here. And then here we have 12 volt outlet, USB-C. This is actually powerful stuff. Well, 27 watt it claims there. Yeah. PD, power delivery. And uh, this side has communication. This is just for power. Uh, oh, I use this for music playing. I have a pocket there. And then in the back here, I see, you're supposed to put your phone maybe here. I tried it, but the problem is that once you start driving, that happens. Okay, shit, now I have to get my phone out of here. And then here we have wireless charging pad, slide it in there. Then it's charging, charge, yes. And then we have some room in the middle here, not that big. Conventional glove box, nothing to see there. Everything here just looks standard. Yeah, some lights and stuff here. Let's check here. Yeah, you can put your car there. Yeah, we have light at least on the mirror. Same here. Same. Wait, this is kind of interesting. Okay. Yeah, and then we have to check headroom. How is it here? Oh, uh, well, uh, almost feel like we have more headroom in the back versus the front. Okay. Uh, maybe one and a half fist of headroom here. And then these seats are nice and comfortable. I'm not sure if they have true leather or not. I didn't do my homework, but uh, good. I mean, okay side support. And even after 1000 kilometer challenge, they still felt nice and comfortable. So there you guys have it, Torres EVX. I think many people don't know about this car. I also haven't heard about it before I stumbled upon it, but it actually seems to be quite a good car for the price. Remember that this car costs only 430,000 Nook. If you want to try to find something similar, with uh, yeah, similar equipment, they might cost a lot more. So in terms of space, this is by far the best space for the money. Okay, range might not be the best, charging speed might not be the best, but it actually did it quite well in the 1000 km challenge because it had quite flat 120 kilowatt curve until 50% and it did not replicate, even though it has BYD blade battery with 1 million, 1 million kilometers of uh, warranty, battery warranty and also 10 years. So, uh, yeah, but then, okay, not everything with this car is perfect. Headlights are not that great. Stereo is not that great. Uh, but efficiency is actually okay for such a big car. Uh, maybe because they have good drivetrain and Koreans know how to make efficient cars. So, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.